smell like roses all the time and I'm not kidding, I actually do. What? Where is this video going? Hello! In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own face exfoliator at home. I love these DIY face treatments, you know, your cleanser and face masks and all of that because you know what's going in there and you know the benefits of what is going in there and you know that there are no chemicals or side effects or allergies or none of that stuff. You are custom mixing your own stuff. All you need are three ingredients and one of them is actually even optional so it's just basically two ingredients. So the first thing that you need is rice flour. Basically that's just powdered rice. Now rice flour has been used since ancient times by the women of Asia. The geishas and all of those beautiful women, they used to do face masks made of rice powder and in spite of having worn so much makeup every day, their skin was still supple and soft and bright. Even the field workers back in the times, they used to make a sunscreen which was just a mixture of rice flour and water and they would just put it on their face because it is actually a good UV protector. Let me tell you some of the beauty benefits of rice flour it actually reduces the pigmentation on your skin it reduces the blemishes on your skin and it's also got anti-aging properties so it prevents premature aging rice flour makes your skin brighter and soft and supple and gets rid of all of your hyperpigmentation and also coming to the point of this video it's got that tiny little grit which is a good exfoliant so when you do this after you watch this video you'll understand that it's a good exfoliator second ingredient is yogurt I've spoken about yogurt and the beauty benefits of yogurt in many of my videos and that's how much I love yogurt because yogurt has lactic acid which is an AHA which is the stuff that is there in a lot of these really expensive anti-aging skin products and exfoliating skin products all of the other beauty Beauty benefits of yogurt I have mentioned in my previous video which I will link down below just to quickly fill you in it also gets rid of a hyperpigmentation and acne it's actually really soothing if you have had a sunburn it really really moisturizes your skin so if you have really dry skin try yogurt now if you have oily skin some people still get the benefits out of it but some people you know mm, so try it out for yourself if it works for you or not the third ingredient we have is turmeric I've also made a separate video on turmeric. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking like this because I just made a video of this makeup look, which was the makeup that Eshwarya I wore to the Cannes 2014. Isn't she beautiful? Anyways, if you would like to see this video, the link will be down below, okay? Just in case you were wondering why I'm wearing bright, bold red lipstick when I'm talking about like natural skincare and stuff. Anyways, coming back to turmeric, antibacterial properties and it has skin brightening properties and all of that stuff which is also mentioned in my other video. Now for the last thing that you need is a small little container just like this to store your exfoliator. To make your exfoliator take one tablespoon nice and heaped of rice flour and put it into your container then you need one heaped tablespoon of yogurt put it into the same container just like that now for turmeric i'm gonna eyeball this amount because i really like turmeric in my face stuff but you can put like quarter teaspoon if you're really fair skin because turmeric can stain your skin and make you yellow so just about quarter teaspoon of turmeric should do you good. And now all you need to do is mix this baby up till it becomes one. So how was your day? What did you do today? I went for work and I came back and I'm making a video now on how to make exfoliator. And then after this I will be cooking lunch for my hungry bunny. <laughs> I think I've spoken enough. Anyway, so we've got our mixture right there. Now this baby is your exfoliator. You need to put this in the refrigerator because this contains yogurt. This will last as long as your yogurt lasts and even a little longer actually. You can also use this as a face mask because it's got all of those good skin properties that your face will benefit from if you just leave it on for like 30 minutes and then scrub it off and wash it off. But if you don't have the time, all you need to do is take a little bit of this, scrub it like you would use a normal scrub, wash it off and just see how your skin is going to behave in one month's time and let me know how it's going to behave okay if you make this face mask and if you try it and if you see the benefits please 
hashtag me in your picture, Mr. Jovita George, and I shall come and like your picture and feature you on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I hope you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my video if you haven't already. And oh yeah, if you want to see this makeup, link is underneath the video. And you know what? That's it from me now. <laughs>